Welcome to this VLOOKUP course. First things first, what is VLOOKUP? Well, it's a function, a predefined formula you can use to look things up in an Excel list like this one or in Excel tables. It works kind of how you use a phone book. You look up someone's name so that you can get their phone number. You can use VLOOKUP to do the same thing. For example, use a part number here in the left column to look up a part price. This is especially handy when you have a large spreadsheet or when you have to look up something repetitively. With VLOOKUP, you use a formula to essentially say to Excel, here's a value in the left column. Go to another column, find a corresponding value on the same row, and show me the result. VLOOKUP, by the way, is not the only lookup function you could use in Excel, but in this course, it's all about VLOOKUP. To get started, I'll show you two examples of VLOOKUP in action. You'll see more examples later, and as we go, you'll learn how to use VLOOKUP. In this first example, looking up part prices by using part numbers, I'm using a four-column Excel list with part numbers in the left column, part name, part price, and part status. I've already created the VLOOKUP formula here in cell G3, and I'll show it to you up here in the formula bar. Don't worry about its various parts or arguments right now. That'll come later. I've got an error here in this cell, and that's essentially because Excel is waiting for me to enter a part number into this cell. So I'll enter, say, part A029, and press Enter, and get a price of 343. So what happened? I'll scroll down and show you. Excel looked up A029 in the left column and returned the part price of 343 from this column. Here's another example. I'll use VLOOKUP to look up the appropriate discount for the quantity purchased. This time I'm using an Excel table instead of a list. If you're not familiar with tables, you'll have a chance to create one in the practice at the end of the course. The table has two columns, one for quantity and one for discount. I've created the VLOOKUP formula earlier in this cell, and here it is up in the formula bar. I just want you to take a look at it. You don't need to worry about its arguments for now. There's an error here in this cell again because Excel is waiting for me to enter a quantity in this cell. Now this example is different than the last. In that formula, I was looking for an exact match between a part number and its part price. Now customers aren't going to buy just in quantities of 1, 10, and 100, and so on. They can buy in whatever amount they want. So I don't want to limit VLOOKUP to only finding exact matches. I'll enter 1,001 here, and I get a discount of 9%. What happened? The amount listed in the quantity column is 1,000, but 1,001 units were sold. The formula sees that the quantity is greater than 1,000, but less than 10,000, where the next discount of 12% kicks in, so the discount is 9%. I could figure out these discounts myself, but the table in the formula leaves the guesswork out of it. Up next, you'll learn about the arguments for the VLOOKUP formula.